Hi everybody, right, so we're going to show you now how to make this picture blended from the photographs that you took earlier on in the sessions after school. It's a rough video taken on my phone, but I thought it was easier to explain it in a video than to give you lots and lots of bits of paper. So this is the final image that we end up with, okay? So I'm just gonna get rid of it. And I'm going to clear down these. So we're going to go to file and we're going to open up all the images that we took of ourselves, all the selfies, open them up. Okay. Now the idea is that we're going to blend them all together so that there's three of me in one picture. So we've got three different prints and we're going to put them one on top of the other and then we're going to rub out the uh, top image to reveal the one underneath and then flatten that one, make it one piece of paper and do the same again. Watch. So here's the first image. What we're going to do is we're going to select all and you get the marching ants that go all the way around it. Go to the top menu again, hopefully you can see that, edit um, and we're going to copy. So we're copying this picture and then I'm going to go to the next photograph and I'm simply going to paste it on top. There we go. Now, in order to be able to see where I've got to rub out, because I don't know where, where I am underneath here, I can't see it, you can actually change the opacity of the picture. So in the top right hand corner where my layers palette is, I'm going to make the opacity about 50%. Now, if you haven't got this layers tab up here, go to the window on your top menu, scroll down and you'll see layers here. Click on that till it has a tick and then the layers tab will turn up here. So I'm on layer one and I need to be able to reveal this properly. And the easiest way of doing it is using the eraser stamp here, eraser tool and taking a brush here, little paintbrush, sorry, using the eraser tool, I beg your pardon, and then just rubbing yourself out. Now you can see there are quite straight lines, quite jagged edges here, very clear. So up here, I'm going to make the edge of the brush, um, the rubber, a bit softer. So I'm going to take it down a little bit and then it blends just a little bit nicer around the image. Can you see? Now, if you were very careful with your tripod and the taking of your photographs, then this should work really easily. You shouldn't have any shift in tree or anything like that. It won't look odd. Take the opacity back up to 100%. So you can see the first image. You can now see the second image, but we've cut a hole through it basically. Now what we want to do is we want to flatten this image. So the top right of the layers palette is a little drop down menu. Go all the way down to flatten image. Then what we want to do is we want to select all marching ants around the image. Then we want to copy it. We want to drop it onto the last photograph of me over the chair. So now what we do is we paste it. So yet again, I need to see where I am on the right hand side. So I'm going to change the opacity. There we go. And you can see my image. Now what I'm going to do is take the eraser button again and I'm going to rub out this image. Now, when I said to you about giving yourself space in the selfies so that you didn't overlap, you'll see why in a second, because in this one, I didn't do that properly. And I have overlapped. If you look carefully at the bottom, you're going to see an overlap on my shoe. So what we're going to do now is a magnifying glass. And we're going to go in close. And then we're going to carefully rub around this image. Now, how are we going to get that boot? I think what we're going to do is have the boot go behind the chair so you can't see it. There we go. Now, if you're wondering how I'm managing to manoeuvre my way around this image, I'm pressing the space bar, which brings up the hand icon. And when I let go, the original tool I was using appears. And I'm just going to press Control zero and it brings me out of that zoomed position. I'm just making sure by going around the edges, there we go, that I've rubbed everything that I want to out. 
change the opacity back to 100%, image 1, image 2, image 3, all in the same picture. So go and have a go. Bear in mind that you must try and give yourself a lot of space. You could do all sorts of things with this. Have some real fun with it. Do headstands or whatever you really want to do. When you've finished, go to the Layers Palette menu, flatten the image, and then save it. So you go File, Save As, and I'm going to call it Tina Selfie. Selfies, OK? All done. Save it as a JPEG. Make sure the image quality is 12, that it's a large file. I always use that. Progressive scans number three. All done. Enjoy.